It's hey day. It's hey day. It's hey day. So come and play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another awesome Hey Day video. My name is Jennifer, and here on YouTube, I go by Gizmo Spike. So today I would like to talk to you guys about the upcoming special derby, which is a Blossom Derby. Now this derby is very different than a regular derby in the fact that once you take a task and you have completed that task, that task then returns to the derby board where another person in your neighborhood can then take that task. Now, each time it is returned to the derby board, it increases in value. So it will start at 320, then go to 350, then go to 375, and then finally 400 points. And it will remain at 400 points until it is trashed off of the derby board. So, here on the screen are the um, small description that Heyday gives us for this particular derby. So let's just take a look at this really fast and then I will dive into it in more depth. So special derby rules. This derby is a blossom derby. Expect the following changes from a normal derby. Blossom tasks on the board. You can identify them by their flower pin and green border. Blossom tasks return to the board after being completed with additional points. They can be taken once per derby player. A blossom task maxes out at 400 points. These tasks have a total timer that starts running when the first player takes it and doesn't reset. When the timer runs out, they expire from the task board. Okay, so that last part is extremely important with the Blossom Derby, which comes to my strategy for how the Derby should be played. So once a task is taken from the board, immediately a timer starts to count. You get three days in total to have as many people complete that task as possible. So the key here is to take fast tasks. You want to take tasks that you can complete as fast as possible. Because remember, the second that you take that task off of the board, that timer starts to count. And if everyone that's opted in to your derby has not completed the task by the time that timer ends that's it it's done and it's off of your board so you will be basically leaving points behind if you let that expire before everyone in your neighborhood has done that task so if you're in a smaller neighborhood then, you know that's not so bad if you only have three four five six people that have to do tasks then um, that's a lot easier, but in my neighborhood, we have 19 people that are opted into the Derby this week. And that means that each task that pops up on the board needs to be completed by 19 people within three days before it automatically expires off of the board. So you want to focus on quick, fast tasks. Um, don't take goat milk, don't take long production tasks, um, don't take the train or town tasks unless you are completely stocked up in your town, meaning that everybody is fully served in your town. You have uh, 42 people in a maxed out town, you should have as many of those as possible fully served this way if you get a train task you can just go into your town and tap 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 and collect and be done with that within 30 seconds and then that task will then go back to the derby board where another one of your neighbors can 
then get that task. So don't take a train task, so I'll just use that as the example, when you don't have, you only have a handful of people fully served because then that's gonna take you several hours. So you have plenty of time now before the derby starts tomorrow to get in your town and get all your people fully served. And if you're not sure how to do uh, that with your town, I do have um, a video on that that I will link in the description below. So I would focus on, I know that for me, I'm the leader of my neighborhood and we will be focusing on only taking the fast tasks short crops like wheat, corn, and carrots, um, helping task, mining task. Um, we will do trucks. We will do train because um, I am fully served in my town and my neighbors are as well, at least the majority of them are, and I will make sure to put a note into my neighborhood again today. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing any other really fast ones you can consider doing some production ones if you are willing to stack your machines but honestly i would not recommend doing that now you say okay gizmo how can we guarantee that we get these tasks well guess what you can so based on the number of people that you have opted in to your derby that is the number of blossom tasks that will appear on your board at any given time and it is approximately half so if you have 10 people opting into your derby you should have four to five blossom tasks on your board at one time so what that means is that you can trash the blossom tasks that you don't want to do. So let's say that you have a board that pops up and with the blossom tasks and it pops up goat milk and a honey tea task maybe a boat uh, mining and a train so you're going to want to keep the mining and the train but you'll want to trash the goat milk the honey tea and the boats because you can't do those quickly now once you've trashed those other tasks so you've now kept two blossom tasks and we're going to say this is out of a neighborhood with 10 opted in so we're going to say you have max of five on the board so you now have two blossom tasks on your board that you can start doing that means the next time in 30 minutes when your new tasks pop up you're going to get three more blossom tasks that pop up onto your board that you can then take so what you want to do is you want to keep on trashing your blossom tasks until you get ones that you want to start taking so the key is to trash 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 those tasks until you find ones that you are happy with remember the timer is goes on each individual task so the timer doesn't start when the derby starts the timer starts on that specific task once you take once the first person takes that text so you can trash as much as you want uh, you're not losing time by trashing the task the timer does not start until you take th that task and the timer doesn't start on all of the tasks the timer is for that individual task only so let's say that the first one you take is that mining task so that timer is going to start for your three days but then if you don't find another good task for another hour two hours then and then you get a wheat task then that wheat task has its own separate timer on that task 
So your mining task has three days, and then your wheat task is gonna have three days. So every time you start one, it's gonna start with three days. So keep on trashing until you get a task that you guys like. So it does mean that you have to pay attention to your board a little bit more. It also means you have to have really good communication with the rest of the people within your neighborhood. You want to make sure that you don't have someone that you know jumps in and grabs a um, a really long production task or a goat milk task because then um, that's going to take forever and you're not going to get all of your members to complete that task in the three days. It's just not going to happen. So that's the key to do that. Um, really good communication and trashing until you find the tasks that you want to take. And then last but not least, you want to try and record and keep track of who has completed that task. Again, this is a lot easier in a smaller opted in neighborhood with three, four or five people. In a neighborhood like mine with a 19, we really, really, really have to be careful because we don't want to trash that task completely off of the board until all 19 of us have done it. So um, I usually try and keep notes, write people's names down when they take it. Uh, it is very helpful if you have a separate way of communicating with your neighbors, like through Discord or through Facebook Messenger. Not everybody can do this. That's fine. My neighborhood doesn't use anything outside. Usually we have a few people that um, are in a discord that we talk to but most of the people we just use the neighborhood chat tab and that is fine as long as you are really um, communicative and um, note in there what you've done so to summarize take fast tasks only complete them as quickly as possible Keep on trashing that board until you get to those tasks that you want to take that are the fast tasks and then make sure you communicate and let everybody know all along the way which ones that you have completed so that when everyone in your neighborhood has completed that task, it can be trashed off the board so that a new Blossom Derby task can pop up on the board. So I hope that I've covered everything that I possibly can here about the Blossom Derby. If you guys have any further questions about it, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. But I think, I don't think I've missed anything, but please, if I have, please leave a comment and I will, um, I will address that as soon as I can. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you have a very successful Blossom Derby. I am super duper looking forward to this. I love the Blossom Derby. Um, I still think that the Mystery Derby is my favorite, but the Blossom Derby is either tied or just a really, really, really close second. So let me know what you guys think about the Blossom Derby. I'm curious to know if this might be your guys' favorite derby. And I hope you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember that if you are not already subscribed to my channel, that it is free to subscribe to a channel on YouTube, but it will make me very, very happy. So hit that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Happy farming. Weeding is life. Peace. It's hey day. It's hey day. It's hey. So come and play